Hello good people, what we have here today is a Honda NC750, it's a 2019 model off the showroom floor of Fired Up Motorcycles. Now, it's not the most exciting motorcycle out there, um, in fact I might have on this show a few times called it the most boring motorcycle ever, but even I have to admit that it has a place in motorcycling. This motorcycle is extremely sensible, in fact it's probably the most sensible motorcycle you could buy at the moment. And you know, even with all it's like, even though it's a, t a tad uncharacterful, it could be worse. What we have here is a box. No wait, they don't quite call it that. They call it an eco box, that right. This is a VW Polo Vivo, which apparently is a very, very popular kind of car. I mean, it's built in Germany. Well, it's owned by Germans. And um, it's a very sensible choice, apparently. Yeah, very economical, very car -y. It takes you where you want to go eventually. So yeah, very sensible choice. So what we essentially have here is two very sensible alternatives of transport. But what we need to know is, which is best? And there will be no silliness here whatsoever, just sensibility. We have two sensible means of transport and we want to know which is the best to purchase and live with. What are you wearing? Well, I've never done the car thing before, so I thought, let's do some interneting. And it said I must wear clothes that are bright and comfortable. What are you wearing? Biking gear. Right. Shall we get going? Yes. And with that, Donovan and, uh, Donovan head out into the wilds of Johannesburg. So what we have here, it's a 750cc parallel twin. And what many people have said is that Honda took a Jazz motor, the, the Jazz car, cut one of those four-cylinder motors in half and made this. Honda denies that, but, you know, it's a good story. Let's go with it. But here's the thing, okay, so it's a detuned Honda motor. It's now currently two years old, and that means it has a life expectancy of... Uh, 7,499,999,998 years. Uh, and that is when the sun is going to expand and engulf the earth. It produces 54 horsepower, 68 newton meters. So, uh, yeah, the speed monger in me is crying. But, uh, you know, it does the job. It's even got a bit of a rorty kind of sound to it. It feels very light. It's very comfortable. Lovely place to sit. Bit high, not too high, not too tall. It's... it's it's lovely. So here we go, the, po the Polo Vivo. It's got a 1.4 litre engine, I'm told. I think it's got four cylinders, yeah, something like that. And it weighs exactly 500 tons. <laughs> and that's, um, that's a lot considering it has um, 75 horsepower, yeah. It's more than the uh, NC, but you know, 500 tons. Genuinely, weighs 500 tons, must do. Uh, but it's, it's got some good things going. It's got a bit of oof, I mean, you can get up to a speed like right now I'm doing a speed which is good it's good it's, it's faster than walking kind of uh, other good things it's got three saddles it's got one saddle here for one person another saddle over there for another person and in the back it's got a big saddle which can take three quite small people and that's good that's very good ah through traffic no problem look at that I feel sorry for someone you know who doesn't get to do that meanwhile uh, how do people do this? This car is a top speed of something. In fact, it doesn't matter what top speed are because it's the same speed as that car in front of me, which is ironically faster than this car, but I'm behind it. How do people do this every day? Is it, look at this, 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 there's all these other people, they've all stopped and you have to kind of stop with them. How does that work? However, and dare we say it, it isn't all bad in the car. So here's the thing about this, car thingy it's got a radio on it and not just that you can listen to you know whatever radio station you can also get connected to your phone and play whatever music you like that's pretty cool it stops you singing out loud or going crazy or something the other thing it has is a special weather machine it creates wind and not only that it creates whatever wind temperature you like hot cold whatever it's cool because i mean i'd hate to be outside in this hot weather sheesh i wanna be Loved by you, just you, nobody. Oh, hey, uh, so um, I'm wearing a jacket that's a summer jacket. And that's what's really cool about this is that it's really porous. So all the wind just comes straight through it and straight into my skin, which is good, you know. Um, you know, the wind is 30 degrees Celsius, but it's good. It's good. 
Finally, we arrive at our first challenge, parking. So, go find parking, we're miles away. Ugh. Let's see where we can get the closest. Okay, that one over there, yeah, I think that'll do it. So here we go, wide, late turn in, late into the apex. Look at that, perfect, ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, damn it. miles away <laughs> meanwhile need to remind you this is a very serious test and we're gonna get serious for a moment here because we're in the middle of a pandemic and when you're in a pandemic you have to go out and panic buy the essentials and of course, when you're in a COVID pandemic, there's only one essential you need to go out and panic buy. Toilet paper. How much of it can we fit in here? Okay, this may seem like a somewhat impossible task, but you know what? I think we can manage because I've got a secret weapon over here. There is in fact a boot and I think uh, if we take one of these, and put it, and put. Do you know what? Don't worry, we can still do this. Right, there we go. I think we're okay. I think we can manage now to show how well this is all gonna work. Let's go. First gear. Oh, oh. We're good, we're all good, we're all good. And finally we head over to the forces of nature, and in this case, Mother Rain. So here's the thing, right? It's been raining here in Joburg for two weeks solid. And now finally today, when we actually want some rain, there isn't any, it's a nice sunny day. However, may I present to you our very own Mother Nature, Zoe. Nothing. Look at that. All this waterness is spraying all over the show. This is a good downpour. Mother Nature Zoe did very well. Um, as you notice, I'm, none of it's getting on me. Meanwhile. All right, I, um, I somehow don't think this is gonna end well. Oh no, bloody hell, ah, ah, no. Okay, the the weather protection on the oh, oh, the weather protection on this thing is not it's not great. It's, and I'm wearing I'm wearing a summer jacket, so it's poor. It's great for getting wind, but water. What well, are oh, oh. so far? We focus mostly on these two being transport tools, but we as bikers know all too well that there's more to it than that. Here's the thing about a car like this, is that you're never really going fast enough to get yourself into trouble. It just takes so long to get anywhere, you know, just to accelerate anywhere. The bikes just get up to speed, no problem. But even so, the thing about a bike is that, like even a bike like an NC750, it's not a racing machine, and yet some riders will probably be more comfortable around corners and things on that thing. It's very stable, very light, whereas this car is just bouncy. I mean, the discrepancy between cars like this and like proper sports cars is massive. You just know, you just you immediately you know. Whereas on the bike, you can still go fast on the NC. This, I mean, it's wobbling all over the show. How does that work? Do people have such low like lives that they they don't go out and have fun with their vehicles? Is that what happens? Must be. You know what? I'm here and this is fun and I'm on a bike and I'm enjoying myself. It's not going to break any lap records, but I'm going to have fun. And this is the point of motorcycling. This is a tool. It'll do the job, but you know what? You could do it while smiling. This is one of the least exciting motorcycles you can buy, yet it is still exciting. And now for one last sensible test and one of Car Donovan's favorites. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy ice cream. Imagine traveling somewhere and not being able to eat ice cream. Who would do that? It must be, no, no, 
No. Mm. Meanwhile. So this is very ice cream. Mm. No. no. I got chocolate in my helmet. You said uh, you can't eat ice cream. Oh, fuck, where? Ah, damn it. Okay, I need to slow down. So that's gonna involve holding a clutch. I wish I had a DCT, but I don't. Um, so I'm gonna take it from this hand. I'll put it. Oh, bugger! Dropped it. I got ice cream all over my NC. No. Can I carry it? Yeah. All right. I think the moral of the story is that Don secretly wishes he was a car journalist so his consumption of ice cream wasn't interrupted by his job so much. And that the car is a bit slower than the bike and maybe not quite as much fun but is actually very practical. Let's stop worrying quite so much about tests that examine what goes into and uh, comes out of Don's system and throw some facts into the mix. The Polo costs 180 grand and will set you back 3,755 rand a month, whereas the NC will relieve you of 1,955 rand a month until it's 89,000 rand is paid off. Average insurance for an average person living in an average area is 1,000 rand a month for the car driver, 400 for the biker. The average South African commuter travels 30 kilometers for work each day, which with a consumption of just over 12 kilometers a litre means a monthly fuel cost of 846 bucks for the car and with 30 kilometers a litre for the bike is a much more agreeable 344 rand. Overall, the car driver will spend 5,600 rand a month getting to work and back, while the biker will spend just under half of that, saving himself 2,860 rand a month in the process. And given the car travelled at an average 38.5 kilometres an hour during the test, compared to the bike's 63.4 kilometres an hour, the biker will save nearly seven hours of travelling each month. And more importantly, the biker will enjoy the travelling time while the car uh, will simply endure it. And in reality, we'll have to endure a lot more of it since Don couldn't actually get out of bed early enough to do this test during rush hour. So the conclusion is, Buy a bike if you enjoy life, and buy a car if you eat too much ice cream and you've got diarrhoea.